Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the new charm gel collection from Daily Charm. This is a six color collection and the name for this collection is Twinkle Dreams and these colors are so beautiful. As you guys may know, I love Daily Charm and I would have to say that one of my favorite collections from them used to be their Holographic Twinkle collection, but this new collection, the Twinkle Dreams collection, is definitely may take the winning spot. Once you see how beautiful these colors are, you will completely understand but this collection just launched today. It is available to purchase on the Daily Charm website. You can purchase it as a collection, like as the six color collection, or you can also purchase the colors individually. If you decide to purchase it as the collection, it will save a little bit of money just because you're buying it like all of the colors instead of a few of the colors. But I do really like that they have both ways of purchasing available in case you only like one or two of the colors or if you purchase the collection and then you really love one of the colors, you can go back and just buy that specific color. But I wanted to share this with you guys. I'm going to be doing a Gel X nail set today and Gel X tutorial, but I also am going to be using these brand new colors. So I decided that I would just do some swatching and just show you guys these six brand new colors from the Charm Gel Twinkle Dreams collection. Another thing that I do want to let you all know is Daily Charm is currently having their semi-annual sale 15% off store-wide. The code for this 15% off store-wide is SAS15. This offer does end 6-13-2020. So this isn't going to be a sale that is going to last forever. And with it being 15% off store wide, I highly recommend you taking advantage of that. Um, I have so many videos up on my channel using different products from Daily Charm. Another product I really love are their Charm Nail Art Mystery subscription boxes. They do have some spots available for July. So you can secure your spot and get that July box if you are wanting to do that. They also have so many other items available on their website. Personally, I really recommend trying out their charm gels. They are just so amazing and they keep up with the popular trends. They have these holographic reflective gels, thermal gels, cat eye gels. They have so many charm gels available and again, they have them in collections and they also have individuals as well. If you are wanting to support me but still take advantage of the semi-annual sale, you can just make your purchases through my affiliate link. I will be leaving that down below in the description box. I also, if you don't, like if you miss out on the 15% off store-wide semi-annual sale, I do have a discount code for you guys that you can use to save 10% off your Daily Charm purchases. That code is nailed by Brandy, and again, I will be leaving that down below in the description box. I'll be linking these colors individually and as the collection in case you do want to pick these up for yourself. But these colors are so stunning. I love them so much. They did release a Twinkle Gemstone collection. I knew that collection was going to be a big hit. It was. I think it like sold out super quick and I'm sure the same exact thing is going to be with this collection because it is still kind of that same theme. You get your iridescent flakes in here, glitter, kind of like a smaller, like very small glitter mylar flake. Um, it kind of gives off like a pearl lesson and just under the flash in the sunlight, these colors are so, so stunning. They also are perfect colors for the summer as well. I was just so addicted to this collection and I am just so thankful that I am a brand ambassador for Daily Charm. It just means so much to me and I feel so blessed and just talking about and using their products is such an honor to me because they are my top number one favorite brand. 
And again, I'm being completely honest and transparent with you guys. Like always, I just really do favor and love Daily Charms nail products. I also definitely understand that Daily Charm can be one of those more expensive nail brands. Their products can be a little bit more expensive than other nail products, but still, I 10 out of 10 for me. I love their products. Just take a look at these swatches. This is two coats of each color and their diamond shine top coat, and they are so stunning. There is a lot of clips here of me showing the swatches just because I was so addicted. I could not stop staring at these colors. I just thought they were absolutely beautiful. They were giving a fairy tale, um, like a mermaid vibe, princess, and just look at them under the flash. I was blown away. This is under flash in a lower lighter lower lighting setting and they are just so stunning. Coming to here, I did bump down the exposure a little bit on my phone, so it's a little bit more of a lower light a lower lighting setting and I was just again so impressed with these colors. I love them so much. If you do have the opportunity, I would recommend grabbing this collection because it's going to sell out fast and you don't want to miss out in person. These colors are just so much better than seeing them on camera or just seeing them in pictures and stuff like that. You will definitely not regret grabbing this collection. So now let's go ahead and jump in. I'm going to be doing some Gel X nails using the three-step extension kit also from Daily Charm, the nail tips, and then the liquids and the extension gel. I'm going to be showing a little bit of nail prep just in case you guys are beginners or if you just need some more educational pointers on how to get your Gel X nails to last for those three plus weeks or really get the longevity. So as you guys know, I do gel extensions on my toes and basically this is the prep steps that I follow to be able to get my toenails to last me months. So I like to start off with really getting up that dead cuticle on my nail plate. If you leave that dead cuticle there and you apply your nail tip, you are going to have lifting near your cuticle because it is just not going to adhere properly to your natural nail. Nail. So a very important step if you're struggling with lifting, definitely take those extra steps and really push back your cuticles. Use a like little scraper like I'm doing here to scrape up any of that dead cuticle. If you are still seeing cuticle after doing this, I would recommend using an e-file with like a cuticle ball bit or taking a hand file or cuticle clippers and just furthermore going in there and making sure you're getting rid and of any of that dead cuticle on your natural nail plate. Now, of course, when you're doing this, you want to be very gentle, cautious, and just doing it at a very slow speed. You don't want to work fast. You don't want to like hurry and rush through it because you can cut yourself or um, bump yourself and then you'll have irritation. So it is still very important to go very slow and do it very gently. Recently, I have just started clipping my cuticles because I have been so afraid to do this. Now, necessarily, you don't have to do this if that cuticle isn't on your natural nail plate. That's the most important thing here but sometimes it just makes the end result look a lot better if you do go in there with cuticle clippers and cut those cuticles. Another beginner friendly way to do this if you want to remove that dead cuticle skin but it's still attached to your skin there, you can go in with like a cuticle ball bit and that can be very helpful because you can take that on your skin and it is very gentle and it's going to take away any of that skin without needing to use the cuticle nippers, which I know can be something very scary for beginners. Sometimes I even clip myself a little too much and I get like a little air area that's irritated or it might bleed a little bit, but I am practicing with that and definitely getting better because of course practice does make perfect. And if you are doing gel extensions, you really like doing it, but your nails just aren't lasting for as long as you want them to, do not give up. It is a process. It will take time. Maybe the first couple of sets you aren't doing as good. The nails are popping off, but once you keep doing it, you will improve and you will 
see growth and you will just get better and better and your nails will be able to last longer and longer. So once I was finished with all of my cuticle work, I did just take a buffer and remove the shine from my natural nail plate. I am now going in with the prep liquids, starting off with the step number one, which is the dehydrator. I know they call it the primer, but it is basically a dehydrator, and you will want to go in with a layer of that. Our nails do have natural oils on them, so using a dehydrator is going to completely dehydrate your natural nail plate, and that is exactly what we want to get the long longevity of our gel extensions. I also went in with step number two, that was the primer, and it is just going to help the nail extension, the gel bond, and adhere better to our natural nails. If you're struggling with lifting, I recommend going in with two coats of the primer because that can definitely play a big role in making your nails last just a little bit longer and not getting any lifting. Now I'm going in with the gel base coat. So for this, you can definitely just use step number three, what you will use to apply your nail tips but personally I like to just save that for applying my nail tips because I do really like that product so instead you can choose to use a regular base coat but a personal preference for me is actually using this five-in-one strengthening gel I did turn the bottle around so you could see on the back the different uses for it but I really like using it as a base coat it still leaves that same sticky tacky layer to the nails it also just feels like it makes my nails strengthen a little bit better this can also be a very useful product to use as your base coat if you're really trying to strengthen and grow out your nails especially if your nails are thinner so I recommend trying that but if you do not have that product you can always just use a regular base coat or the extension gel as your base coat as well so I went ahead off camera I did just apply my peel off base coat because like always I will be popping these nails off but you will if you follow those prep steps you should be able to get your nails to last three plus weeks again if you are still struggling though do not give up it can be a trial and error process but once you keep going and you know that you're not going to give up your nails will just be getting better and better your nails will also last longer and longer and you will be able to get to that three plus week mark so now it just comes to applying the nail tips so I'm using the medium almond soft gel nail tips I went ahead and sized them out making sure they fit my nail beds from sidewall to sidewall and then I'm using that step number three the extension gel applying a little bit of that to the inside of the nail tip I will start at my cuticle slowly lowering it at a 45 degree angle until the gel product has no air bubbles and has reached the free edge of my natural nail I then apply a constant pressure holding it in place and do a quick 15 second flash cure and simply just move on to the next nail once I do have all of the nails applied I will go ahead and go into my larger nail lamp and do a full 30 second cure and here are how the nails look after I have prepped and the nails are applied I am now just going to be doing a little bit of filing sealing the cuticle and also buffing the nail surface just to remove that shine
While I'm finishing up with this, I did quickly want to mention it because I thought about it, but I didn't go in with any prepping to my soft gel nail tips, but that can be something that is super important, again, if you want that longevity. If I was going to be leaving these nails on, the way I would prep my soft gel nail tips would be taking an e-file with a sanding band and etching the inside of the nail tip where it's going to meet my natural nail, and then I also like to go a little bit bit further and also chemically etch the inside by applying the step number two, the primer, and you just kind of want to scrub that into the soft gel nail tip, and those steps can also help your nails last longer if you also prep not only your natural nails, but if you also prep the soft gel nail tip. So once I was all finished filing, I went ahead and brushed away all of the nail dust, and now I'm going in with this very milky nude color. I believe I decided to go with Irish cream, and I am just basically using this as my base just to add a little bit of color to these nail tips before I actually go in with my nail design. So I applied a thin coat of this to all of the nails and cured that for 30 seconds because I only really wanted it as a base color and was pretty much going to be covering it up anyway. I did decide to just go in with one coat of that and now I'm going to be taking three of the colors from the collection that I showed you in the beginning of the video and I am going to be using all three of these colors because I couldn't decide on just one so I decided to use all three of them and kind of just create like a marble but more of a very faint marble. You'll see what I mean when I do it, but I chose to go with a pink, a blue, and the purple. I'm placing those out on a silicone nail art palette, palette in kind of like a line or a strip. I will then take a wooden stick and a little bit, give it a little bit of a swirl to it. Again, I don't really want to swirl it too much because I still want the colors to be separate from each other. But you can see here, I just went in with a quick little swirl and then I will be using a square nail art brush and just scooping up the color starting from the bottom or the top, whichever way I decide to do it, and then just laying it down on the nail. I don't want a very like... I don't want to really look at these nails and see a marble from them, but I do want to try my best to be able to see the purple, the blue, and the pink all in one. It did mix up a little bit more than I wanted to, but the end result was still absolutely beautiful. And honestly, I was really glad that I went in with all three of the colors instead of just choosing one because I can still see a very pretty look to it. I'm still getting cues of the pink gel, the blue gel, and also the purple all in one. And I just really loved that. This was also a very easy technique to kind of get a very faint or distant um, marble, but still you're getting multiple colors in that one nail. So for all of the nails, I'm going to be doing this same exact process, just p scooping up the gel with the square nail art brush and then kind of like rubbing it off onto the nail, like patting it so I don't really mix it or blend it too much. For each of the nails, I will go ahead and do a cure for 30 seconds before moving on to the next nail. That way it just keeps the um, gels where they're placed and nothing blends or mixes any more than I want it to. So once I finish up with one nail, I'll do a 30 second cure and then I'll go ahead and move on to the next nail. I'm just going to go ahead and let the let the rest of this play out. I did go ahead and leave it in real time because um, you guys helped me out and let me know that you actually like seeing the real time and the real process of everything and there really isn't much more for me to explain so I'm just going to go ahead and let the rest play out and I will hop back on once I am moved on to the next step but I really hope that you guys are enjoying the video. If you are enjoying and haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you subscribe, give the video a like, it really helps me out a lot and if you're feeling generous, leave a comment below.
once I was finished with that, I did actually only need to do one coat, and I feel like the main reason for that was because I actually applied that Milky Nude underneath, and I just felt like it helped fill in any, like, gaps or clear spaces. So I was really happy about that, especially because the design that I had, I was able to just leave it as is. It also is picking up a little bit different on camera than really in person. In person, I was really able to see all three of the colors in the nails but on camera I feel like it just blends it and mushes it a little bit more but I was very happy with the end result so now I am just taking my diamond shine top coat I'm going to be applying that to all of the nails and curing for 30 seconds and because I was getting like a fairy dreams or twinkle fairies just that was my vibe when I was looking at this color collection so I decided I wanted to to go all out with these nails and just really create a very beautiful fairy land or like fairy dreams like something like a fairy would dream and I just want to put it on the nails so I pulled out some flowers some pearls um, some like kawaii water drops butterfly moon stars I also had some iridescent like glitter hearts and of course the stay put rhinestone glue as well and what I'm going to be doing is just putting a dot of rhinestone glue and then placing whatever crystal or pearl or flower wherever I want it on the nail. Basically, again, just thinking about having a very pretty fairyland, fairy dreams kind of vibe to the entire nail set. All of these charms and everything like that, like the pearls and flowers, they are all from Daily Charm as well, and I will be trying to link everything down below in the description box in case you guys do see something that you would really like to have as well and put into your own nail sets. But I really love the look. It did take a little bit of time placing all of these like smaller little charms and stuff to the nail, but I loved it so so much just wait for the end result all of the nails I just kind of go with something different and I think it turns out so cute in the end I was a little bit sad that the flower charms that I had placed were the color changing ones just because I picked a blue pink and a purple flower but then in the sun and in the UV lamp they did change colors and I felt like that messed it up just a little bit but really no big deal at all this it still looked very beautiful and blended with the entire nail set overall but really there isn't much for me to explain here um, again I just place my rhinestone glue where I want the charm to be I place the charm and then before moving on sometimes I'll do a flash cure but once I move on to the next nail I will go ahead and cure the previous nail for 30 seconds that way I just don't bump or move any of the charms that I have already placed so I'm just gonna go ahead and let the rest of this play out and then I will come back once I am completely completely finished. Here are how the nails are looking after I was completely finished with adding on all of the charms. I was loving them so much. I am now going in with my cuticle oil, applying that to my cuticles to nourish them and of course like I always say, top off the nail set and the finished look of these nails 
are definitely giving Fairy exactly what I wanted. I love them so much. I think the shape complements the overall nail set and then having the different um, glitters and just wait until you see them out in the sun and under the flash. It is really the most beautiful thing. I love these gel polishes so much. They are going to be used so often. I can already feel it. I just, I love it. I love it. I love it. And I feel like under flash and in the sun, it just makes it 10 times better. I think honestly for my next toenail set, I know I always say this like wanting to use a gel polish color on my toes. I just feel like I never do my toes enough to use all of the colors. But these gels right here, this collection, I feel like one of the colors needs to be on my toenails for this summer. Just because they are so beautiful and I'm wearing my sandals out in the sun, the nails are just going to sparkle and look so awesome. But let me know down below if you are still here by leaving some like fairies down in the comment section. I'm pretty sure that there's like fairy emojis. I don't know for sure, but if you are still here watching, let me know by leaving some fairy emojis down below or like some blue or pink purple hearts. Just so I know you have made it until the end of the video. Check the description box for any of the links to the products that I used and or mentioned in today's video. I would recommend hitting up the Daily Charm website since they are having their semi-annual 15% off site-wide sale. Um, definitely take advantage of that. Get some of your favorite products, try new products, and if you do miss out on that opportunity, don't forget you can also use my discount code Nailed by Brandy. But of course, if there are any other discount codes that do give you a greater discount and you still want to support me, you can always still purchase through my affiliate link. I do appreciate each and every one of you who do make a purchase. Even if you aren't going to make a purchase because you just can't at this time, but you have watched my videos or you're liking the video, you've subscribed, you still mean so much to me, this whole entire community. I really love you guys from the bottom of my heart and I wouldn't be here without you. But here are just the finishing end shots of this nail set. I really cannot get over how these look under my phone flash. They are so beautiful. I really hope that you guys did enjoy the nail set as much as I did. Let me know by giving the video a like. But as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.